be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Hi, good day. Thanks for watching. I'm Bradley Chapman, and this is uh, the next series in one of my videos. This is based on uh, radiators and drainers, um, and how they can impact your life. So let's just set the scene. Uh, BradleyChapman.com's website is about sales, marketing, and life. And on my website, of course, there's a number of different aspects of services that I offer and things that I'm doing. There's the dog shit theory. It talks about the crap that builds up in our lives, which, you, we, which we can all throw out. Um, the three thirds theory, which is about the three different outcomes and possibilities we've got in life, the yes, the no, the maybe. Today, we're talking about the radiators and drainers in our lives, whether that be personal, whether that be our business lives, or whether that be something to do with our family. But let's just set the scene. So radiators and drainers. Radiators and drainers, there are two equal forces in life. You know, a radiator is someone that's going to inspire you to take the next steps or to overcome a challenge or something you're facing or thinking about doing you know a, 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 a drainer is going to be someone that's going to really you know suck the energy out of you and they're going to hold you back and they're going to be full of doubt themselves and they're going to impact that doubt onto you so let's just take these two things in, in uh, individual circumstances radiators and drainers which one would you actually prefer when you're facing a challenge, an obstacle, a new job, a new relationship, you've got a pain in your business, a challenge of expansion, or you're reducing something or reducing the size in your business, who do you actually want to listen to? Well, look, you know, a radiator, a radiator for me any day of the week and twice on a Sunday is somebody that's going to listen to you, that's going to listen to you and how you feel. They're going to put their own personal feelings aside and they're just going to focus on you and how you're feeling and what they're going to do is they're going to help you to make a decent decision to help make a decision in itself and they're going to radiate you with energy with positivity with love with care and and instilling the ability and belief in you that actually you can do something now the whole point is this that even though a decent radiator could be around you and you should gravitate towards these people because negatively a drainer is going to hold you back is going to want to stamp on your dreams, is going to want to tell you that it's not possible, that you can't do it at all, it's too risky, and are oh, you doing the right thing? It's going to fill you with doubt. And if you get into the stage of doubt and disbelief, you will become dysfunctional. You will not be able to make a decision to move forward with the challenge that you're facing or the decision that you've got to make, and you will eventually grind to a halt and nothing will actually happen. So you've got to stick towards someone and work towards and work with someone who's actually a radiator because the radio is actually going to help you to move your situation forward now look everybody in life can think about scenarios and circumstances where they face a challenge whether it be in life whether it be business whether it be a personal circumstance and if you think back to the situation when you was facing it or whether you're in the situation now you may well have someone around you that's holding you back that's not really supporting your dreams to move forward and they could be draining you. You could have someone in your life that's radiating you, that's helping you to move forward, that's helping you to make a change. So listen, when you're going through these adversities, when you're going through these challenges, you need to look for someone who's going to help you radiate. And I'll tell you why this is important and I've experienced this myself as most of my mini videos will say, a drainer is going to hold you back is going to fill you with doubt. A radiator is going to inspire you. It's going to help you to move forward. <clears throat> so think about this. Think about the radiators in your life. Think about someone who is a figure that you aspire to become or somebody that inspires you, whether it's on the telly, whether it's in your family, whether it's in the close network of your friends. Think of that person who could help you, give you the decent advice. And sometimes it may not necessarily be the person that you're thinking of or you might be comfortable talking to. But everybody needs a bounce and bored at some stage. You can think to yourself in your own thoughts for a certain amount of time, but then you're going to need a second opinion. So who is it that you're going to talk to now about the challenge that you're facing right now?
I mean, listen, my website's about life. It's about sales, marketing, and life. And I believe all these things are intertwined. It could be you're a youngster sitting at home and you're totally afraid of life and going out and getting your first job. And you could be making up every single excuse under the sun why you're not moving your life forward and blaming others. You could be aware inside that you do need to make change, but you're just afraid to reach out that the right person's going to give you a kick up the arse, positively give you a kick up the arse to help you move to the next stages of your life. You could already be in a relationship you may wish to be leaving or coming out of that relationship because it's gone toxic. And there's some other videos in my series that can help you with that. Or it may be that you're just facing a decision in business, whether to take a deal, whether to work with a new client or a new supplier. And this could be a major decision. You see, the thing in life is this, that making decisions actually isn't the toughest thing. It's living with those decisions and the outcome that follows that is tough to live with. But that's why a lot of us are actually afraid to make a decision in life because we're afraid of what the outcome might be and we may have to live with making a bad decision. Well, listen, wake up. Welcome to the world. You're going to make 10 decisions. Out of those 10 decisions, three or four of those are going to go really bad. They're not going to work out. Three or four of those may just not have any impact at all. But, you know, a couple or three of the decisions that you make are going to have a positive outcome and it's going to benefit you. But you need to find someone that's around you that's going to help you and support you, not just in becoming aware of making a decision to inspire you. But when you move forward to make that decision to make a change, whether that be in your personal life, your business or your family, your career, whatever that may be. And then you need a radiator around you to support you when the outcome of those decisions actually come to the fray and they become a reality. And then it's managing those decisions. You need a radiator to help you all the way through that process. Because if you don't have a radiator and you do have the strength to come out your shell and make a decision and to take action and that action falls foul on you and you get a negative outcome. Do you know it can hurt you so badly sometimes that it goes so far back into your shell that you're never going to want to come out and make a decision again. And that's where a radiator or a life inspirer comes in because it's going to break down the decisions you've made. It's going to say to you, look, how many decisions you made in the last day, week, month, year? Out of those decisions, what were the outcomes? What way did they come out? Let's accept the way the outcomes came out. Let's work on the ones we can change. Let's put the ones to bed that we can't change, that we can't do anything about. And the ones in the middle that are the sort of maybe decisions that may have had a negative or a positive or a non-impact, let's see if we can move those forward forward to having a positive impact. That's where a radiator is going to come in. So I urge you in life, when you're making decisions in your personal life, in your business life, or if it's something to do with your family, your career, find someone that's going to be inspiring to you, that's going to support you through all of those stages. Because without a support network behind you, when you make these decisions, you're left to your own devices. And some of us, when we're left to our own devices in the darkness and the still of day, we can be quite destructive. It's human nature. So I urge you, go out, find a radiator, find someone who's going to believe in you. If you can't, give me a call. I'll give you a hand. I'll give you a help. I'll break it down with you. I'll talk about the positive aspects of what decisions you've made. We'll talk about the negative aspects of the decisions and the outcomes that's happened as a result of making a decision for positive change. And the bad ones, we can learn from those decisions. I've learned from so many bad decisions in my life. And do you know what? There's been two or three people that I've met in my life have been really powerful, positive, inspiring people. The rest of people, they're not that inspiring. They're not that positive. They're lovely people, but they just don't have that depth of understanding to help people inspire. They may have it inside themselves, but sometimes they just don't know how to communicate that. But inspiration is everything. So radiators and trainers, thank you very much for listening. Go out, find yourself a radiator today. Find someone that can help you move forward and someone that's going to be there to support you when you make these decisions so you don't fall that back down into, into the dark depths and stay away. <laughs> From the from the drainers, stay away from the drainers because they're going to be they're going to be jumping and stamping on your dreams. They're not going to inspire you to take action. They're not going to be there to support you when you fall. In fact, some of these drainers actually get off.
on you falling. Some of them, it fulfills their own inner need to feel better about themselves by watching somebody else fail. Be very careful of those people because they're no good for you. Stay towards the radiators. This is Bradley Chapman. We're talking about radiators and drainers today. For more information, visit BradleyChapman.com. Contact me directly by the website. Become a member. Follow me on YouTube. I look forward to seeing you guys on the other side. Over and out. Have a great day. I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm a.